Simon. Okay. How are you today, sweetie? I'm fine. Okay. Men, we're going to look at task three, writing task one, and let me see if we've got time for, for test two as well, okay? Okay. Right here, we have a, a diagram or a picture. Uh, the Southwest Airport. Now and then after the development. So they want to make it bigger and better. There's the check-in. There is a cafe, a walkway and gates. At the new one, we will see a check-in, a bag drop, a cafe, an ATM, sky train, car hire and gates. So you can see there's quite a lot that has changed and we have to write about this change. There are gates one to eight where you have to fly from and the new building has one to 18. So it's a whole new leg. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. You must write at least 150 words. Let's read the instruction. Can you read the instruction for us? The plans below show the size of an airport now and how it will look after redevelopment next year. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make the comparisons where relevant. My comparisons, okay. The first thing we need to do is analyze. Uh, the uh, analysis, you have to do an analysis or analyze the map. That means the map details the plan for the renovation in the next year of the Southwest Airport. Looking from an overall perspective, it is readily apparent that the number of gates will be greatly expand. There's eight gates and 18 gates. And there will be a variety of customer facing facilities like car hire shops and the ATM that we can see they've added, yes? Okay, there we can see there, they've added it. Okay, so first we have to do an analysis. We have to look at the map and what the map tells us. So when we do the analysis, this will tell us more likely what they have changed, what they are putting together. This is a big change, okay? So the map details the plan for the renovation from the old to the new in the next year about the Southwest uh, Airport or of the Southwest Airport. Looking from the overall perspective, all of it, it's apparent that the number of gates will greatly expand and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities such as the ATM, the car hire, drop, to drop your bag. So there's uh, shops, there's lots of uh, things that add, got added onto the renovation. So the first thing you need to do when you analyze it, you have to paraphrase, paraphrase what the process shows. We have to put it in a paragraph, what it shows. We just have to say it in a paragraph, okay? So you paraphrase what the process shows. We say exactly what we see. It's not something we have to go study. We just use the words here. We have to write a clear overview um, and summarize, write a clear overview, uh, summarizing the major groups, okay? So uh, a clear overview, sorry, overview, or we can say summarize, we can say, summarize the clear or summarize the overview. So here we say exactly what we're doing here. Okay. 
so we begin by writing the details of the process. For example, the location of the departure and arrival entrances will remain the same, but there are plans to install additional doors. Look there, arrivals and departures the same. However, now we have one entrance for arrival, one for departure. Then the new, after the development, there will be two doors each. So the location of the departure and the arrival entrances will remain the same, but, or however, there are plans to install additional doors. Do you see, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Upon entry, entering the airport, there is currently a single check-in and a cafe. The future plans, uh, plan projects, moving the check-in from the left to the right side of the departure space in order to make room for a backdrop and the repositioning of the cafe. So now we say, we first spoke about the doors. I will type it for you now. First, we spoke about the doors, okay? The doors are... Okay, hang on, let me type it for you. So here we're saying, the map details, plans, and then you say what the map details the plans for. Then we say, Looking uh, from an overall perspective, we talk about the gates. So here you can talk about the gates. There you say, gates you can see and how many gates there will be, okay? So this is still under, an, uh, still under the analysis. This will be your first paragraph. Well, let me write it here. Hang on, let me write it. I just want to see if I can do it nicely. Okay, your... Uh, there is A, so you'll start like that. Okay. Okay, so then you're going to say, uh, looking from an overall perspective, then you can name the gates. Sorry, I just want to put it out so that you can see it. Then we talk about the gates and you can also talk about the uh, variety, variety of customer facing facilities. Okay, so SA, look, uh, the map details, the details, plans for the renovation in, and then you say what they're gonna renovate. Looking from an overall perspective, there would be lots more, or you can say apparent, uh, look at the number, the current number is eight, but they're going to expand it. Gates, and you can use the word expand to 18. The variety of customer facing facilities would expand as well, including now here you can say what it includes. Includes, what does it include? A cafe, ATM, shops, car hire. Sorry, the, AT, uh, the shop is already there. Oh, the cafe is already there. Okay. Then you carry on. Now we're gonna go to the second one. Now you say, the location of the departure. Now we're going to talk about furthermore, or in addition, or um, moreover. So now I can use the word moreover. Now we are going to talk about the location of the departure and the arrival, where there will be additional gates. Oh, sorry. Additional doors. There will be additional doors. Okay. Um, I'm going to move us here and I'm going to move this here. Okay. So there will be additional doors. 
uh, upon entering the, now we're gonna talk about upon. Upon entering, upon entering the airport, what do we see when we enter the airport? We see a cafe and a check-in counter. And it's going to change to, what will it change to? They have to make, they are moving, they are moving the cafe. There will be a bag drop. Talk about the bag drop. Um, and they're moving the check-in counter from the left side to the right side. Okay. The future plans project, moving the check-in from the left to the right. The arrival section will affix a cafe. Now we are talking about arrivals. Arrival section, what, is, what do they have? They have a cafe, ATM car hire that is necessary uh, that's necessary uh, necessary expanding the size of the building now you're talking about the size of the building so they have to build because there isn't space uh, now you write about the rest of the process okay this is just the first part now you have to talk about the security passport control customs will be unchanged. However, the future floor plan shows shops immediately upon existing the security section of the departures. The largest alteration are replacing a walkway with a long sky train track and constructing two branching corridors that will enable flyers to reach more than twice as many gates. Okay, that's the first part. Now we have to write about the rest of the process. Now, when you write about the rest of the process, you're gonna talk about the security point, the passport control, customs. You are also going to talk about the SkyTrain track. And you're gonna talk about the two Branch, uh, branching the two branching corridors with the gates. Okay. To par paraphrase some of the words uh, and make sure you you have it you para paraphrase it so that it fits into each other. Okay, so this will be your second part. We will talk about that. Uh, you will use vocabulary, for example, words like details, plans, renovation, gates, greatly expand, variety, customer facing facilities, car hire, location, departure, entrances, uh, what will remain the same. Install additional doors, currently, check in, project, space, in order to make room for repositioning of the cafe. Okay, let me type the words that you can use. Voc vocabulary, vocabulary that you can use will be, for example, details, uh, renovation, uh, greatly expand variety, uh, customer facing facilities, car hire, ATM location. We'll talk about vacation, departure, and arrivals. You will talk about um, entrances. You will talk about the entrances. Okay, more words you can use will be remain the same. What will remain the same? Uh, currently, uh, talk about projects. It's a big project. Uh, in order to make room for a backdrop, repositioning. What are they repositioning? The cafe. Uh, 
Now you're talking unchanged. Some, something stayed unchanged. Um, they will add on or affix. Affix. They will add on more gates. Uh, security, passport control, customs, however. Future for floor plan. You can talk about the future uh, plan. Uh, you can also use the words, for example, replacing. What will it replace? Constructing. What will it construct? Branching corridors. That means hallways is splitting off. Enable flyers. Enable. Reach more than twice as many at the moment. Renovations. So these are all vocabulary that you can use, okay? So I'm going to do an example and then, I will, then I'll type it for you. But I want to do an example and then I want you to do an example and then I'll type it, okay? So this map details the plan for the renovation. So we are here at the moment. Here. The map details plans for the renovation in the next year of the Southwest Airport. Looking for an, from an overall perspective, it is readily apparent that the number of gates will greatly expand and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities added, including ATMs, shops, and a car hire. The location, I'm oh, sorry, I will spell, I will fix that word, sorry. The location of the departure and the arrival entrances will remain the same. But, or however, there are plans to install additional doors. Upon entering the airport, there is currently a single check-in counter and a cafe. The future plans, projects moving the check-in counter, uh, they're moving the check-in counter, they add it from the left to the right, they adding the, the um, oh to make space for the backdrop and the cafe. They are they are repositioning the cafe. The arrival section will have an or a fix. The arrival fiction will affix will affix a cafe. Uh, ATM and car hire that needs expanding the size. That's what that that requires expanding the size of the building. Security, passport controls, and customs will be unchanged. However, the future floor plan shows shops immediately upon exciting existing the security section of departures. The largest proposed alterations and replacing a walkway with a long sky train track and constructing two branching corridors that will enable flyers to reach more than twice as many gates. Eight gates at the moment and 18 after the renovation. Okay, do you see? That's more or less what you can say. Okay, let's see if you can try and tell me. Use these words and you can try and tell me. The plans, uh, the plans show the detail for the uh, rare, rare development in the next years of the, of the Southwest Airport. Uh, Looking from an overall voice purpose, purpose, um, you have to speak a little bit louder. Looking from a oh, looking from an overall perspective, um, you can see the number of it is will readily expand, and there are more, yeah, there will be. There will be more variety 
um, customer facing facilities uh, included ATM, uh, shop, uh, and car hide. Uh, moreover, there is a location of the departure and um, the driver is uh, is is a uh, is a uh, it it remain, but uh, there there is an addition uh, one door to each other. Um, And uh, op open to open entering the airport. Uh, there, there, there will be a cafe and a check in culture. In, and then in the future, they are moving the cafe and, and change to the uh, back walk. And and the check in the in culture um, about the arrival session uh, is you is you add a car face ATM and car high. Um, and the the size of Building uh, will expand. Mm. About the security, uh, is about the security, smart port control, and custom. Uh, they are, they are will be changed. I know, are they unchained? Um, Sorry, yes, unchained. There. Okay. So Good, so you use the vocabulary, so that's what you can use, and this is what you can say. Now, um, you can also use words, for example, to the structure, the structure of your essay it could be uh, the plans. So you start with the plans show, now what does the plan show? Overall, the airport will be expanded. The airport will be expanded to, and then you say what the airport will be expanded to. Cafe, car hire, things like that. Then you talk about the departure entrance. Um, and upon the departure entrance, you can say, or upon entering the building uh, after the development, you can also say that. Uh, more words for you to use. You can say once through uh, security, what happens when you go through the security, moving on to the arrivals, and then you can talk uh, to the arrivals hall, and then you can talk about the arrivals hall. So that's words you can use when you want to talk about the arrivals hall. Okay. Now I'm gonna clear it and I'm gonna type the essay for you here, just to give you an idea of what the essay would look like. So then you use what I gave you, the keywords to use, and you look at my essay and you try and put them together. You try and make your own. You don't have to remember my essay. Remember the structure, remember what you need to say, what you need to talk about, which words you can use, vocabulary, Vocabulary is very, very important that you can use uh, difficult words, not just easy, plain, simple words. Use complex words. Use your connecting words, okay? The plan show. The plans show. So, best. 
airport. Now and next year. After redevelopment. Overall, the airport will be the airport will be expanded to provide more gates and the addition of other new facilities will offer more convenience for both departing and arriving passengers. The departures, the departures entrance in entrance is on the left as one faces the building. Upon entering passport control and security can be seen straight ahead. After redevelopment or after the development, a backdrop, a backdrop area will be added in the depart, departures hall. Before one goes through passport control. Although the check in counters will be relocated to make room for the new backdrop area, they will still be right before. Passport control. The cafe, on the other hand, will be moved close to the entrances. Once, once through security, passengers will see some shops which the airport currently doesn't have. Ahead is the concourse. At the moment, there are eight gates and passengers may use a moving walkway to get to their boarding gate. That's where you climb on. Going forward, the airport will have a much longer concourse with 18 gates. So the walkway will be replaced by a sky. Okay, that's your first few paragraphs. I'll put them in the side here. So I don't want to. Okay, and then here, carrying on. Last sentence, moving on onto the arrivals hall, or uh, you can say in conclusion, um, at present, passport control and customs are the only services in the hall. Beginning next year, however, there will be a cafe. ATMs, ATM machine, machines and car hire. Arriving passengers can use 
after clearing customs. This is the type of thing you can say. Uh, okay, this is one that you can say. I will show you another one, a shorter one. The plant shows Southwest Airport now and then and next year after redevelopment. Overall, the airport will be expanded to provide more gates and the addition of other new facilities will offer more convenience for both departing and arriving passengers. Now, words that, big words that you are using, expanded, provide, um, and the addition, convenience, these are big words you are using. Upon entering, um, after redevelopment, a backdrop area will be added before one goes to. Although the chicken counters will be relocated, these are big words, to make room for the new backdrop, they will still be straight, uh, they will still be right before, okay? And once through security, passengers will see some shops. Uh, at the moment, okay, ahead is the concourse. That's the area, that area. This is the concourse where you are walking. That's the concourse. At the moment, there are eight gates. Okay, going forward, there will be more. Moving on to the arrivals at present, beginning of the year, there will be that. Okay, so these are words that you use. I want to show you another one, and then I'm going to give you a chance to say your own one, okay? Let me show you another one, a shorter one, if you can say. Let me do this one in blue. More simpler one. And now I want, then I want you to say it, okay? Um. Okay, let's see. So here we can write three. We can say the map detail plans for the renovation in the next year of Southwest Airport. Looking from an overall perspective, it is readily apparent, apparent that the number of gates will greatly expand and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities. Um, such as shops, a car hire, and an ATM. The location of the departure and arrival entrances will remain the same. But, can you finish my sentence, Hongman? But, location of departure and arrival sentences Entrances will remain the same, but what's different? But uh, there are more. Yeah, 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 more, more. There are plans to install additional doors. Upon entering the airport, there is currently a single check in uh, there is going to be a single check-in and cafe or check-in counter and cafe the future plans or the future plan projects uh, 
the future plans. Okay, the future plans are moving the check in uh, the check in from the left to the right side of the departure space in order to make room for a bag drop area and the repositioning of the cafe. Uh, location of the departure and arrival entrances, okay. The future plans are moving the check-in from the left to the right side of the departure space in order to make room for the bag dropping, okay. We remain the same, uh, but there are plans to install additional doors upon it. The future plans are move. The future plans are to move. The future plans are to move the check in from. Okay. Drop. Let's see. Cafe. The arrival section will affix. That means add a cafe. ATM and car hire that is that uh, requires expanding the size of the building. Okay, and then you can say one more, which would be your, um, you can say one more about the security arrival. Uh, moreover, security, passport control, and customs will be unchanged. However, the future floor plan shows shops Im immediately upon existing the security. Moreover, security, passport control and customs. Moreover, security, passport control and customs will be unchanged. However, the future floor plan shows shops immediately upon um exiting the security section for departures for departures the largest proposed alterations are replacing a walkway with a long Guy train track and constructing two branching but corridors that will enable flyers to reach more than twice as many gates. Okay, this is also what you can say. Let's see if you can read it for me. And then you're gonna do your own one, okay? The map details plans for the renovation in the near Southwest Airport. Looking from an overall perspective, uh, is it readily apparent that the number of gates will really depend and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities such as shops, a car height, and an ATM. The location of the departures and arrival entrance will remain the same, but there are plans to install additional doors. Upon entering the airport, 
uh, that, that is currently a single take in cultures and cafe. The future plans are as to move the check in from the left to the right side of the department departures today in order to make room for a back back rock area and the repositioning of the cafe. The arrival session will affect the cafe, ATM and car high. That requires expanding the size of the building. Moreover, security, hard force control and customer will be untrained. However, the future floor plans show her so sharp to immediately open the assisting the security session for departures. The largest proposed alternation uh, are replacing a walkway with a long sky train track and constructing two granting corridors uh, that will add both flyers to reach more than twice as many gates. Okay. And now I want to see if you can read it one more time and then have your own ideas. The map details plans for the re renovation in the next year's Ulta West Airport. Looking from an overall perspective, uh, is it really, really appearing? Uh, that the number of gates will be greatly expanded, and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities such as shop, a car hide, and an ATM. The location of the departures and arrivals entrance will remain the same, but there are plans to install additional doors. Upon entering the airport, there, there is currently a single check in culture and cafe. The future brand plans are to move the check-in from the left to the right side of the departure space in order to make a room for a backdrop error and the reposit repositioning of the room of the, caf of the cafe. The arrival session will affect the a cafe, ATMs and the car high that requires expanding the size of the building. Moreover, security, passport controls, and customer will be unchanged. However, their future floor plans so soft immediately open editing the security session for departures. The largest proposed uh, alternations are replacing a walkway with a long sky train track and constructing two printing car cordier corridors uh, that will enable flyers to reach more, more than twice at many gates. Okay. Okay, let's see if you can say your own story now. I will take this away so you'll be able to see there. Okay. The map and the map details the plans for the regulate renovations in the next year's of uh, uh, Southwest Airport. Looking from an overall perspective, um, there are the number of rates will be expanded and there will be a variety of customer facing facilities such as um, I guess a, a shop, a car height and ATM. Um, the locations of departure and arrival will remain the same, but there will be install addition drawers. Um, you you been uh, entering the airport upon um, upon entering the airport, uh, there will there is a single check in cultures and cafe, and the future plans are to move it to. It from the then from the left to the right, uh, uh, in order to make a space uh, for for the 
uh, drop back drop error and the cafe uh, the arrival session will affect with a cafe atm and car height that's uh, that need to expand expand the size of the building um moreover uh say security uh passport controls and customer will be remain um but but in the future uh a floor will show soft yeah uh, the The, the, the most uh, proposed uh, is uh, replacing a walkway uh, to buy a long sky train track and and contrasting to cordials that's that's that that's uh, enable flyers to reach more more than twice as many gates. Oh, there's more than gates. Yeah, good. Okay. So, um, you see, there's the sky train. So there's the ball, the sky train. Okay. Let's just have a look at this one. We won't have time to do it now. Many manufactured food and drinks products contain high levels of sugar. Which causes many health problems. Sugary products should be made more expensive to encourage people to consume less sugar. Do you agree or disagree? Okay, what do you think about manufactured food and drinks products that contain high level of sugar? What do you think? Do you agree that it's okay or do you agree that it shouldn't be okay? is negative say again mm, i think is negative okay why mm, i think they will lead to uh too many disease uh, such as a heart attack um overweight uh, and, and why why is it negative why do you, what makes it what what part of your life uh, becomes difficult when you are overweight it has to move and really uh, inconvenient when do something that need to uh, careful Say again. It had to do some uh, to has to do some. Uh, Your work will be difficult. To move yes. around and go shopping will be difficult. To help your children one day will be difficult. Your health, your heart. Um, so to be very, to, so the sugary products isn't good for the new generation. The new generation is very, they don't always want to do sport. They want to sit in front of a computer or a TV and play games. Now they eat the sugary food so they become obese, they become fat. That's why children from today don't exercise like we did when your parents or your teacher were younger. And the food were, was less, it wasn't fast foods. So sugary products should be made more expensive to encourage people to consume less sugar. Remember fast foods, McDonald's, KFC, the chicken, uh, pizza, those things are cheap. It's cheaper to buy fast foods than to make the healthy foods in your home. So everybody, because it's cheaper, everybody buys it and it's quick. It's cheap and quick, but then they become fat and obese. And that's what this is saying. Sugary products must actually become more expensive so that people don't buy them, so that they can go and make their own, own food. If you make pizza in your house, 
and you go buy pizza, which one will be more expensive? If you make pizza at your house and you buy pizza, which one will be more expensive, do you think? Yes. Which one? Uh, I think it's uh, made it uh, by, by myself. It's difficult and waste money. It's going to be much more expensive if you're going to make it by yourself. But if you, make, if you buy it, it's going to be much cheaper to buy it. Okay, good. All right, sweetie, I hope I've helped you and gave you good ideas. Uh, see if you can take the ideas that I gave you and the keywords and make your own essay. Don't try and remember, remember, remember mine. Remember your own. Use those words, okay? Okay, sweetie, you did a good job. I'll see you next time, man. Bye, sweetie. Bye.